Hey guys, welcome to uh, this new series that I'm just simply going to call Draw with Giuseppe. I encourage you to crack open a sketchbook, grab a loose piece of paper, heck, even grab a pen and a sticky note if you want. Spend the next 10 minutes or so, just sit down, take a little minute out of your life, and draw with me. So, uh, lately I've taken up a, um, a job at uh, a tea shop, and I am not able to stream as much as I was during uh, the tail end of last year, which is totally cool, you know. Uh, but what it means is now I'm not uh, streaming in a chilled out environment where I can invite people to kind of digitally come to the table and sit down beside me and work at, work at their own thing. Um, and on my channel, uh, you'll find mostly uh, speed paintings with uh, just some music, usually royalty free because, hey, uh, it's YouTube. Um, but there's almost no... That, that feeling of uh, collaboration, that feeling of just hanging out and doodling is now gone uh, while I don't really have the time to be streaming. And now I'm going to stream again when I get the chance. You know, I might have a good day off where I got the energy to do it. But I want to know that there's something here that allows people to kind of come and hang out and make use of the platform to build their own relationship with their own artwork. So that's kind of the point of this new series, is it's a digital sketchbook. I want you guys to work on your own alongside me while I work on mine. Because on top of that, I feel like I'm always working on a bigger project. It has to be perfect. It has to be working towards something. Or it has to be a one-and-done masterful piece. You know, speed paintings, those do take a lot of effort and can take up a lot of their own time. Uh, and, you know, if I want to work on another project, uh, I can't really do that because, oh wait, I gotta get my speed paint out. So I end up getting nothing done at the end of the day. And I'm definitely not just sitting down and doodling like I used to, like, uh, like I fell in love with drawing to begin with. So I want to find my love for sketching again. And I want to help you guys find it too, in case you may have gotten a little displaced from it or if you're feeling like you really want to be an artist but you just haven't sat down and put the time aside well here's the time here's the time to put it aside you know if you only put in the the 10 minutes that this video is i don't even think it's going to be 10 minutes long i think it's like eight or nine um if, if you only do that that's great if you end up listening to some uh chilled out music like a, a video game OST or something like that after this and you just keep keep going at something for the next hour or two that's awesome you know uh, but this is kind of the hey get, remember that thing you love go grab it sit down and do it for a few what's 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 five minutes you know anyways I think we all uh, usually forget um, how much fun it can be to sit down and draw. And I think there's also this idea, we see a lot of um, perfection on the YouTube platform, especially in the art uh, circles, of you see the best work of some people and you don't really see the struggle. And I hope in, uh, I hope in like the first sketches here, even in where we are right now, where I'm kind of following a life reference drawing piece, of this uh, model from the 70s that I'm kind of turning into my own stylized pose, um, you're definitely seeing me struggle, and I want people to see that. Um, I, I think uh, I think a lot of newer artists, when they encounter struggle with their artwork, they assume it's because they're not experienced enough, or they're not talented enough, or they're just not good artists that once you've reached a level of skill, you're not going to struggle anymore. And I actually find it's the opposite. I find that the best artists are the ones who are comfortable 
in a place of discomfort, in this place of I don't really know where this piece is going, and I have to sit in that uh, question, I have to sit in that discomfort for a while until we finally get somewhere. And uh, I definitely had that feeling when I sat down to draw this on Monday night when I was hanging out in Discord with friends. Um, I was definitely getting frustrated. You could definitely see the many attempts that I like sketched out and, and thumbnailed and just kind of pushed to the side as I was like, oh, nope, not this, nope, not this. Uh, and that's totally fine because I was willing to sit with the idea of, I'm just gonna draw a cute bunny girl. Whatever that is, I don't know, but I just wanna draw a cute bunny girl. And sticking to that theme and not giving up on it was the important part of the drawing, of sitting down and working through that questioning phase of, is this even good? Is this even, you know, worth my time? And I think a lot of people think about that. Uh, we, we forget the value of just sitting down and, and sketching, you know? just for the sake of it, because it's your relationship with art that is important, too. Um, it doesn't always have to benefit you. It doesn't always have to be towards a larger project. Sometimes you can just sit down and draw a cute bunny girl, you know? Sometimes you can just draw your favorite cartoon character, or your favorite video game character, or your favorite comic character, uh, just for the love of it, because you want it to. And I think I also kind of fell out of that mentality for a long time because I was constantly chasing the hustle and bustle. You know, it's like, oh, I gotta make a good print. Oh, I gotta make a, an animation. Oh, I gotta design for this client, you know? And you forget to practice. You forget to just spend time with art for the sake of it. So this series is kind of my thesis statement on that. And I'm not going to be preachy the whole time. Maybe I'll, uh, Maybe I'll talk about how my week is going, or I might answer questions from the comments or something like that, or just talk about whatever cool idea that I wanted to sit down and draw, you know? And sometimes it'll be a sketchbook, sometimes I might be working on a bigger project, I have a short film I'm working on, I have a comic series that needs to be revived, but it's hard to show those in the format of a speed painting. Um, because they're often not finished by the time the work that I need to do is done. Uh, so it's, it's not good for the speed paint format, but I also want to just let you guys see, you know, see the work. Like, you know, in school, in math class, it's like, show me your work. Uh, so this, this series is also me kind of showing you my work, showing that it's not perfect. It's not perfect all of the time. In fact, it's rough for most of the time. Um, and I, I think we need to, we all need to reacquaint ourselves with that mentality of it, it's going to be rough sometimes and it's going to be rough most of the time. That doesn't mean it's bad and it doesn't mean you're a bad artist. Um, and of course, you know, at some point we'll talk about artists out there who are probably better qualified to talk about uh, jumping into more professional levels, but for me, I just want you to come in and hang out. All right. How did your drawing go? I hope it, I hope you're happy with it. I hope you're excited to be drawing again. Um, I'll catch you guys soon.